today I'm gonna treat myself to the new iPhone. <laughs> it's happening. Today I'm going on a date. Do you guys remember that video from a few years back of either Kendall or Kylie Jenner, I can't remember which one, saying that they thought it was the year of realizing things and the internet blew it up and made it this whole thing. Honestly, rightfully so, because it did sound a little ridiculous. Well, what I'm about to say is probably going to sound kind of similar, but I hope you guys hear me out. I can probably credit it to turning 25 and my frontal lobe being fully developed, but I definitely feel like this year I have realized quite a few things and honestly more than anything a lot of things have been put into perspective for me that I think me a few years ago never would have been able to make sense of or articulate but now being 25 and probably just having lived a lot more life and having a lot more experiences I'm able to look at things with a much clearer head and I figure since I have this platform why not share? I like to view my life and the life of other people as being made up of different buckets and I feel like everybody's buckets are different to an extent but there's a few constants and that can be family, friends, health, relationships, work, I don't know. I feel like those are definitely the main ones. I think for a really long time, I was under the impression that in order to be fully happy and fulfilled, all of those buckets needed to be filled at all times. And as I've gotten older, especially this year, I've realized that that couldn't be further from the truth. I think a really good example is the beginning of this year for me. I was definitely struggling in my career, which you guys know all about. And I felt so depleted in that category, in that bucket. Yet that was the time of my life that I probably had the strongest relationship with my family. I was like, I'm still super close with them, but you know what I mean? Like at that point, I was just relying on them a lot. The same with my friends. And there have also been times where, I guess further on in this year, over the summer, I got this new job that I love so much and I was super, super busy and I felt so fulfilled in that bucket, but because I was traveling so much for that job, I feel like my friend bucket was a little bit depleted because I wasn't seeing them as often. And it's been a difficult thing for me to come to terms with that there's probably going to be very few moments in my life where every single one of those buckets is fully, fully filled. But I think as long as you're constantly working towards filling those and pouring your all into the things that matter most to you in life, that's really all you can do. And I know that this isn't like a revolutionary thought whatsoever, but it, it brought me a lot of peace kind of coming to that understanding because I think it takes a lot of the pressure off of me that I've put on myself for a really long time. I know you're probably thinking, whatever happened to, hi, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I just figured we should start off this video with a little food for thought. I don't know if this will resonate with anyone at all, but I hope it does. <laughs> I will give you 30 seconds to guess what my favorite color is. I mean, I've always said that red is my favorite color, but right now it is a special kind of hyperfixation. We're doing something very exciting today. More so only exciting for me, really not that exciting for my bank account because it's gonna cost me a pretty penny. But today I'm gonna treat myself to the new iPhone. If there's one thing about me, it's that I take very good care of my electronics. Of course it helps that I always have a really good case on my phone at all times, but I've been able to keep this phone around for quite a while. But at this point, my storage is non-existent and my camera quality is shot. So I think it's about time to do a little upgrade. I swear they looked at me like I was crazy when they tried to sell me a case and I said no. But little did they know that I already had the best case waiting for me at home. Huge shout out to Spec for sponsoring this video. I mean, the timing could not be more perfect. I already told you guys I was in desperate need of a phone upgrade, but I wasn't gonna make that type of investment without knowing that I could properly protect that investment. I really am so obsessed with Spec phone cases. I remember when I got my first iPhone, like way back when, my first phone case was from Spec. So the fact that now, flash forward so many years, I'm working with them, it's kind of surreal. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I got the iPhone 15 and right now I have the Presidio 2 Grip MagSafe with click lock case on it. It's super soft to the touch and it feels really comfortable in your hands. And not only that, but it also has the no slip grip on the case itself. So that way I don't drop it every two seconds. But even if I did drop it every two seconds, these cases kind of act like an airbag because every single one of the cases is lined with air capsules. So when you drop it, it kind of just automatically protects your phone on impact. So I'm pretty sure these cases can withstand drops up to 13 feet, which is kind of a game changer. And then on top of that, all of the cases have raised bezels 
nozzles across the screen so that way if you do drop your phone face down it'll also help protect your screen from cracks or scratches and just to make this all even more convenient for myself I also have the click lock wallet on my case so basically it just allows me to travel with a lot less stuff obviously you guys know I travel a lot and I'm always running all over the place for work so if I'm able to carry one less thing with me like a purse and I can just have my phone and my wallet on me at all times that's kind of again a game changer I'm obsessed and also the color like I mean I told you guys I'm hyper fixating on red and maroon right now but like this entire look is just so coordinated it couldn't be more perfect so if you guys want to check out spec phone cases I'll have a link down below make sure to comment down below if you end up buying one because if we match you know that makes me so happy and thank you again to spec for sponsoring this video testing testing I'm heading out for the night and I don't really know where it's gonna take me, so I figure I'm not gonna take my camera, but it gives me the perfect opportunity to test out my new iPhone quality, and I'm officially a wired headphones girly because my AirPods are dead more than they are charged. So, I figure let's just rock with these for a little bit. The quality looks pretty damn good to me because you can see every single speck of dust on this mirror, so I feel like that's probably a good sign. I'm heading to a show tonight, which will probably then end up leading into me going out, but that, that second part's kind of a TBD. But regardless, this is my outfit. I'm going to see Sweeney Todd on Broadway. And I'm really excited. So obviously, since I'm going to the theater, I wanted to dress up a little bit nicer. Wearing my leather jacket from Revolve. Boots are Princess Polly. Tights. Skirt is also Princess Polly. And then underneath this, I'm wearing the Intimissimi sheer cashmere top. Am I going to freeze? Probably. But I am taking the subway. So hopefully, I won't have to be outside for too, too long. Let's go. <laughs> I was just gonna have myself a night tonight and can I tell you the second I stepped foot in this apartment to what I thought was just to like change and then go turned into me sitting on my bed for two seconds and then deciding I just wanted to wash off my makeup get in bed and watch my first Christmas movie of the season so that's exactly what we're gonna do I don't know which one to start with or even which streaming platform to go on I mean there's so many choices I've been liking Hulu the show was great by the way I'm really happy I was able to see it but more than anything, I went less for the show itself and less for the discounted tickets and more just to spend like two seconds with those people because I just, I love my friends so much. You're telling me they don't have a holiday section? Are we okay? Oh. The holiday? Jude Law? Yeah, that's what we're gonna start with. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you tomorrow. It's officially that time of year again where not a single vlog goes by where I don't talk about how freaking cold it is in this apartment. If you guys have been watching my videos for the last few years, you know the saga. I don't have working heat in this apartment and yet we have lived here for three years. It's an ongoing problem that we have tried looking into and hopefully, fingers crossed, this is the year that we actually get it solved. But it is just so unbearably cold. I don't even know what to do with myself. I mentioned a few videos ago that I've been wanting to go to the Grand Bazaar flea market. It's a massive flea market that happens every weekend in Manhattan on the Upper West Side and I've always wanted to go. I don't think it's anything like crazy special but it has been on my list. So today I'm going up there and I'm meeting up with my friends Brooklyn and Adelina. I studied abroad with them so you guys might recognize them from my study abroad vlogs. They're two of my favorite people. So we're just gonna have ourselves a little wholesome day, do some flea market, some Central Park walk around it's also peak foliage in new york right now so all around it's gonna be a very cute day and i'm very excited this weekend honestly has been one of the more fulfilling weekends i've had in a really long time and i think that's because i went out of my way to make sure that i had plans scheduled every single day pretty far in advance rather than just waiting for the day to come around and be like i wonder what i'm gonna do today and sometimes those days are good i like having planless days where you can just see where things take you but it is nice to have things scheduled, especially if those things are with people that you haven't seen in a while. And I feel like these last, not even this weekend, but like these last five days have been full of that. And it's just like been filling my social bucket a lot and it's just making me really happy. I don't even think I'm gonna take a bag with me because I have my wallet attached to my phone now. So this is the full outfit for the cute little day I'm about to have. Hat is Siegelman Stable, jacket is Zara, sweater is American Vintage, chains are Urban, belt is Urban, boots, 
I stole from my mother, so I have no idea. Pretty classic uniform on my part, but I feel good in it. And that's all that matters. night over here i got my favorite burger place which is called smashed it's on hudson and it's so good i'm watching some friends which unfortunately feels a little bit different now after matthew perry has passed away but it's still such a comfort show i have some candles lit and this is the ideal sunday night <laughs> absolutely everything in me to get out of bed today but we're up and we're dressed because it's nice outside and who would i be if i wasted a nice day so definitely took my time this morning took a shower kind of just like got myself back into the groove but now my big outing for the day at least for right now is going to be going to wegmans if you guys are in new york city or on new york city tiktok then you probably have heard that they opened up a wegmans in astor place which funny enough is right by the new raising canes location so i have a feeling this is going to be my new little area and Wegmans is quite literally the Disneyland of grocery stores so I figured to give myself a destination I'm gonna go to Wegmans I have to do some grocery shopping anyway so I might as well just go I made myself a list and I specifically made it for all like cozy warm foods because it's definitely getting a lot colder here in New York and I can feel the winter blues starting to creep up so I try and do whatever I can to try and fight those and I feel like food is a really big aspect of that. One thing about me is that when I do some online shopping and my package finally gets in the mail I will waste no time putting it on my body and guys these shoes are going to be my new obsession I already know. I saw these online and I immediately had to buy them because obviously red is the color of the season. I've been loving my Adidas Sambas already so when I saw this, it's like a, a red velvet cupcake color shoe. I'm obsessed. So literally came home to this package and immediately had to style an outfit with it. So I'm wearing those. These jeans are from Zara. Top is from Intimissimi. It's like one of the sheer cashmere tops. I love them. Sweater is from American Vintage. Coat is Aritzia. And then my hat is Dude Red Ranch. <laughs> blacked out and spent over $100 at Wegmans. I went in there like mainly just for the activity of it all and before I knew it I ran into my friend Skye which I was not expecting so it became a social event and her and I were just kind of going crazy. We were honestly having the most fun of anybody in that entire grocery store. We were just going crazy like filling up my cart and before I knew it I blinked and my entire section of the cart was filled to the brim. So $100 later we have quite a bit to work with so let's do a haul. We'll make this a speedy haul so we're not here forever, but first I got some flowers. Beautiful bouquet, might I add. People rave about their prepared food, so I got a few different things. First, I got two spicy pork steamed 
buns and I think I'm gonna have this for dinner. I also got some basil pesto that I thought would be good both on sandwiches and in pasta. Although once I did get food poisoning from pesto, so I don't know how that's gonna go over, but we're gonna figure it out. I got two half loaves of bread. This one is sourdough and then there's another Tuscan pan bread in there somewhere. Got some stuff from the deli section, a pack of turkey, salami, and American cheese. This stuff is kind of boring. It's more like basic grocery stuff, but I got a jar of pasta sauce, some buffalo sauce, a box of pasta, some popcorn, because I've been wanting some popcorn in the apartment, and some mini muffins. What other fun stuff do I have in here? Oh, their chocolate chip cookies are supposedly incredible, and I am an absolute sucker for chocolate chip cookies. So I got myself a few of these. Where's my, oh yes, this is the other part of my dinner that may or may not have just gotten smushed, but I got myself a spicy tuna roll. I don't know if this is true or not, but supposedly this Wegmans is one of the only grocery stores in, I think it's the tri-state area that ships their fish directly in from Japan. Again, I don't know, know how true that is. I'm sure the source of that information is TikTok, but I have heard incredible things about their sushi, so that would kind of make sense. Some eggs, some avocados, some chicken noodle soup, and some milk. And that's my haul. Now we gotta put all this shit away. I know the second I say this, it's gonna open up the floodgates for a lot of questions about a very specific topic, so I hope you guys will try and refrain even though if I were the viewer I certainly wouldn't refrain so I couldn't really blame you. Uh, tonight I'm going on a date. <laughs> it is a first date with somebody I met on Hinge and honestly I know a whole lot of nothing about this boy. Like a whole lot of zero. Which means I'm going in with absolutely no expectations and also I haven't had a second of time to think about it today because I've been so busy. So Honestly, I feel like we're going into this with the best mindset possible. What I have on my body right now, I think is the perfect first date outfit. Of course, perfect first date outfit is just whatever you feel most confident and comfortable in, but I feel like something like this is just like the perfect uniform. So here's the look I landed on. Amanda, yeah. where's the sweater from? Free people. Free people, wearing this sweater that Amanda lent me from Free People. Jeans are from Zara, belt is urban, and then my boots are Steve Madden. Okay, we are in route. In route? In route? We're in something. We're in deep. Of course, you know that I took a shower before I left. That is just the standard protocol at this point. But honestly, I think it's gonna go fine. Again, there's something to be said about going into a date with no expectations, like not having even really spoken to the person. It just like lessens the nerves a lot. And we're back. You know? That went well. I can't lie. I haven't been on a date in a while. It kind of hit me like midway through this date that I haven't been on one since the summer. And this was my first hinge date in a very long time. I definitely prefer to meet people in person. And I also find that that's when I have the most luck when I meet people out at bars or, you know, like out on the street, I've even met people. So like, it just, that seems to be where I have the most luck consistently but this was my first hinge date in a while and it went quite well he was a very nice boy i will keep the details to a minimum because we simply do not have to share that online but it was good and can i be honest i needed good under my belt so this was exactly what i needed and i'm home at a reasonable hour it's like 10 p.m <laughs> and you know I am gonna have myself a good night's sleep because tomorrow is a busy day. But Anna, for your post-it update, it went well. And I am feeling good. Good night. <laughs>